Well, hello there. My name is Anthony Barocas for Stream Tech, and today I am streaming on my cell phone. And what I've got here is a live streaming setup on two phones. It says I have a comment. Let's see. Video stream says hello. Can I tap that and bring it into the show? I guess not. Video stream says hello. Close. <laughs> And uh, what I'm doing here is I am demonstrating or testing uh, AirMix Solo. So I have my cell phone that I'm switching on right here. And I also have a second cell phone right here, which is a little glitchy. Let's, let's uh, on if live, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that off. So I'm gonna leave my microphone attached to the device that I'm streaming from, and I am going to switch to the other camera. So I don't know if the sync is going to be in sync or not, but literally I am walking and I have a multi-camera live switching situation. And while I'm doing this, I can even bring up lower thirds. There I am. Oh, <laughs> I had set this up for the Plano Amateur Radio Club, which, of which I'm a member for an event that we were doing. So I have a bunch of graphics preloaded because I had planned to do live streaming from the location. And I thought that these cell phones would be the perfect solution for doing live streaming while out and about, but being able to do it multi-camera live switched. Now, I'm also recording the screen that I am using to produce this so that I can do this video afterwards, but I am literally live streaming. So there is going to be a record on YouTube of me doing this. Let me come back in here. Oh, I've got two more comments. Let me tap over here. Three comments. Uh, it's hard to do it on the cell phone. Uh, nope, not in sync. Hello from India. <laughs> well, thank you all for being there. Uh, hey, is this my normal uh, stream time? It actually is my normal stream time. Um, do, do, do close the comments but thank you all for being there yep actually you know what let us try and adjust the sync of this oh i see it's 500 milliseconds let me go down to 72 apply all right done and now maybe the audio sync is going to be a little bit better i'm going to be walking and the sun's going to be hitting the camera so that's the way things are when you're doing live streaming. And this is free software. This is the AirMix. This is AirMix Solo, and it runs on a phone. So that's how I'm able to switch on one phone, film on another phone, and switch between them. Here, I can switch back here, and then you can see this is the camera in the device that I'm streaming from. And I can take out my graphic, I can bring up another graphic. Hey, yeah, we had a summer field day. And I can take that out and I can put in a corner bug and take that out. And I can even give you a map of where we were. This is the map of where we were right over there. So I'm literally doing this live switching as I'm walking, clearly, outside. It's all handheld. And I tap my other camera. I can play back videos. Uh, I can adjust audio, which I just did. I adjust the timing of the different cameras, hopefully getting the audio a little bit more in sync. And it is very remarkable that this technology exists, that I can do it handheld like I'm doing it and do it for free. I mean, aside from the hardware costs of the devices, of course. But these tools are available to anybody who wants them. Uh, let me swing this around so I can read the comments. Uh, hello from India. Nope, not in sync. Hello. Video streams. Hello from the... Oh, okay. Yes, better. Thank you. Uh, Jad Official. So it's giving me a list on the side. Big fan from India. Well, thank you very much. Um, again, like I said, this is an impromptu thing. I'm actually recording a video to be published on the site later. But in order to demonstrate the fact that I'm actually live switching and streaming, close this, close. I am actually doing this live. Let's see if I can scoot this out just a little further. 
There we go. And uh, <laughs> so I'm actually using my phone as a hotspot, which I say don't do, but that's why the, the remote camera, which is about a meter away from me at this point, that's why that camera is glitching is because I'm using my phone as a hotspot. So it's connecting the two cameras via Wi-Fi and also providing the data for the live stream. And I wonder what kind of interesting looks I'm going to be getting from the neighbors as I walk up and down the street here. <laughs> I need to tilt that down a little bit more. Uh, let's see if I can, there we go. Now you can see down here, this is the camera that I'm switching on. And hey, look, it's steady cam. That's pretty good, huh? And if I want to bring up my graphic again, I come over here, I tap my graphic, bring that up. And I know it should say stream tech, but I didn't want to customize it. I didn't know if this would actually work. This is just sort of like, hey, let me give this a shot. Let me try and stream. Let me try and switch multiple cameras. Play, I even have a video I can play back and mix my audio. I could adjust the framing of the cameras if I wanted to. I could zoom in on this app. And again, this is the AirMix Solo app that I'm using to do this live switch here as I'm walking along outside. You're not gonna find too many solutions that can literally be handheld outside. Like, this is it, this is the whole kit. That camera, my phone, a third phone, I got three phones. That's the whole kit. I mean, yes, I got phone clamps and I've got some counterweight so that it, I'm not trying to hold this thing way out there for all this time. But um, I think this is proof of the pudding. You were in sync when you started and your 72 millisecond adjustment worked. Thank you. I used Yellow Live Pro for DJ live streaming. Yep, that is good too. Like you could technically kind of do this with the Yolo Box Mini. But the challenge with the Mini is connecting your remote camera to here, to, to your streaming device. And it would have to be with a wire. And then have you got wires everywhere? I literally don't have a single wire. I'm using the phone's audio. I'm using, I was using that phone's audio, but I figure I just stay with the audio in the device that's doing the streaming. That way the audio is consistent and there's no digital glitches, which I see that I get from time to time with the remote camera that is a meter away from my hotspot, which is my cell phone, which is kind of dangling from this whole construction also. But hey, you can't quite beat it. Yeah, I had to do like a little 360. You know, you're, you're not really gonna be able to do something like that with a computer. You're not gonna be able to do something like that with most systems. And to be able to go live, have a controlling device and a remote device. Now, technically I can go into my remote device. I think I can do it from here. Let me try this. I'm gonna go into the remote device and I'm gonna say, I can tell it to restart the stream, encoder things. No, I can't tell it remotely to switch cameras. Done. But I can control the audio from it. No, I guess that just resets. So I can change the framing of that shot, but what I can't do is I can't tell that camera to use the other camera. You would have to use, you'd have to be accessing that camera. Also, while the AirMix remote app allows me to go manual iris, manual white balance, manual focus and all those things and zoom, that has to be done from the camera. And I can record on the camera as well. But all of those features, there needs to be a camera operator controlling that camera to affect those. You can't do them from the solo app. But here on this camera, hello camera, I can say flip camera here and you could look at the ground, <laughs> which is not gonna be too great, or you can look at me. So I can change cameras on the device I'm using. So if this is up on a tripod, 
I could use this as a wide shot and I can have that other camera as a close up or a roaming camera and I have a two camera shoot for doing my live stream. And again, I am just doing this with two cell phones, technically three with a one for the hotspot. Let me go back to comments. Uh, where are you from? Right now I am in Texas and it's about 80 degrees. Sounds like a fun mobile live stream. Hey, Jason Hoffman, thank you very much for being there. Uh, a fun mobile live streaming setup. It kind of is, I put it together. I've got two clamps and uh, the interesting thing is I'm actually using gaff tape as a counterweight for that camera, which is all the way out in front of me. So I've got a little bit of counterweight on the back of this monopod and I've got that camera stabilizer on, so hopefully it's not too bad and not too uh, floaty. Like I says, I've got, uh, I can stream from this, I can record from this, I've got comments coming back in, I've got multiple cameras, I've got uh, titles and overlays and corner bugs and photos and all these different things that I could switch between. I even have the video. Let's play the video for a second. There it is. It is a full featured switching complement carried in the palm of your hand. And for someone who is just starting out, for someone who really doesn't have a lot of resources, but hey, maybe you got an iPhone 8. That's that camera right there. That's an iPhone 8. I'm using that as camera. It only has one camera facing me. But if you have a newer camera with multiple cameras and more power, I have a, what are we up to now? 15, 14, 13, I think it's an iPhone 12 is the one that's doing the switching. And this is, this is it, you know? If you have Wi-Fi at your facility, I'm gonna switch hands. If you have Wi-Fi at your facility, you can definitely leverage that. But like I says, I'm using my cell phone hotspot right here. This is the thing that's providing the glue for the two cameras. And let's see if I can hang it back up. <laughs> uh, I just have it dangling here so that it is um, directly accessible to the two devices. Uh, add a new source. What else could I add? Video files, Teradek device, core devices. Like I says, this is, um, if you want to sign up for Teradek core, you could have somebody in another city and bring them in as a core device. If you have uh, a Teradek video or a Teradek clip, you could bring those things in. So you don't even have to use an iPhone, you could use a DSLR or something like that. And being able to do it on a cell phone. I, I just find that remarkable in terms of, hey, you wanna talk in real life, walk and talk, live streaming, but have the ability to switch between cameras and it's a free app. You, you almost can't beat free apps. So what I'm using here on the phone down here, this is Teradek uh, AirMix Solo. And over there, I'm using AirMix Remote because that's the remote camera. And together, I've put together a multi-camera live switching app or live switching studio on a stick. This is my studio on a stick. Should have come up with that name when I started because that's actually pretty good. So with that, I thank you all for being there for this impromptu live stream, testing out the uh, Stream Tech studio on a stick my name is Anthony Barocas. Thanks for watching.